Hello students, welcome back to our class of Automata. Now on our last class we have already discussed about context free grammar or CFG where we have discussed the formal definition of any CFG and how it works and we also learned through some examples how context free grammar rules are applicable. Now in our today's class we are going to extend our last day discussion first thing that I want to discuss today is that most of the context free grammar uh, following two parts one is palindrome type and another one is well balanced parenthesis or well balanced problem uh, now a palindrome problem means like as you can see in here that we want to check whether a string is palindrome or not over a over some non-terminals a b and c so anytime we have a problem like that then we are going to use this type of rule s arrow a t a or sometimes we also use s arrow a s a this is also possible now in a same fashion we can use s arrow b t b or s arrow b s b so whatever your starting symbol your ending symbol will be same because we are using uh, palindrome now in case of well balance this will be same uh, where we will have s arrow st starting parenthesis s and ending parenthesis or left parenthesis s and right parenthesis but here you must 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 have a rule s s otherwise you cannot use this well balanced parenthesis if you see then uh, from this given example you can see that any well balanced parenthesis problem uh, productions sorry productions can be like this where this is a separate part and this is a this is a separate part so uh, if we have rules like uh, in palindrome then we can implement this but if we don't have this s arrow ss rule then this uh, concatenation is not possible so in case of any well balanced parenthesis problem we must have these two rules now on our next discussion we are going to discuss about uh, derivation as well as uh, parse tree these two things are nothing new to you because uh, we have already uh, proved some of the cfg rules in our previous class and uh, we use some uh, step by step uh, replacement technique and this is also called derivation like if we want to generate this particular string using this rule then how we can come to here so we are first using s arrow ss and uh, this left s is replaced by left parenthesis s right parenthesis and this s will remain same now again this s is replaced by ss and so on so using these steps uh, ultimately we can come to this string our resultant string and this same thing can be described uh, by a tree like uh, we started with s so in root we will have s then we divided this s in two part s and s so s and s now this s is replaced by s s uh, this s is uh, this s is replaced by uh, left parenthesis s and right parenthesis so we did this left parenthesis s and right parenthesis now this s is replaced by s s so from this s we have s s now this s is replaced by a, uh, left parenthesis we uh, used epsilon basically it was uh, s first and then we use this rule uh, s arrow epsilon so left parenthesis s 
right parenthesis and this s is finally replaced by epsilon and, and so on so whatever is our derivation we can implement in a parse tree also here is another example where we want to generate a string like x plus x into x using this rule now we started with e plus t this particular rule e arrow e plus t now this t is replaced with t into f ok done now this t e is replaced by t so t plus t to f this a, t is replaced by f and then this t is replaced by f now f uh, arrow x we are putting all the values of x here and in the same fashion we are this is our derivation whereas this is our parse tree where we are using this derivation in our tree where we started with e arrow e plus t so e is our root element e plus t now this t is replaced by t into f t into f now this t is replaced by f and finally this f is replaced by x and this e is replaced by t t is replaced by f, f and ultimately it, uh, replaced by x now uh, this is our next topic that is called ambiguity in any cfg now ambiguity means a problem basically whenever uh, we are using some cfg rules there can be two ways to solve it now through this example i am giving you some basic idea how ambiguity works like uh, this is our given production rule e arrow e plus e and e arrow e into e or x now we want to generate this particular string x plus x into x now we use this rule e into e and then e, e this e is replaced by x and now this e is replaced by x and now this e is replaced by x so we finally got our uh, the desired string <coughs> excuse me and uh, on using the other rule that is e equals to e plus e uh, we replace this e by x now this e is replaced by e into e now this e is replaced by x now this e is replaced by x so uh, in both way if we start our uh, derivation by the rule e arrow e plus e we can come to this line x plus x into x whereas if we start with this rule e arrow e into x then we can come to this string also so this is called ambiguity uh, this is an ambiguity problem in cfg in some cfgs the same string may have essentially different derivation this is uh, if such phenomenon occurs then we call this is an uh, ambiguous or ambiguity ambiguous arithmetic expression sometimes ambiguous cfgs also okay now uh, this is our last thing of discussion that is rightmost derivation a rightmost derivation is one in which we replaced the rightmost variable by one of its production body first and then work uh, our way to the right to the left uh, and in case of left derivation a leftmost derivation is simply one in which we replace the leftmost variable in the production body by one of its production bodies first and then work our way from left to the right so uh, in this example in our previous example we used uh, leftmost derivation you can see that uh, we use the rule e into e and now we are replacing this e uh, as this uh, this e uh, by x so we started uh, from left side so we will uh, replace or we will uh, do the derivation in either by rightmost derivation or by leftmost uh, derivation only one rule so uh, anything uh, is right here you can start with rightmost but once you start with rightmost then go only by rightmost derivation ok now uh, hopefully this uh, concept of CFG is clear to you we have already discussed CFG derivation and parse tree also 
ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു